A one, two, three. Ta -da 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 -da! Yeah! Hi guys, I'm Radu, reporting from Vienna, the 33rd edition of the Vienna City Marathon. The marathon just started. You're watching Discover the World through its marathons. Hope to have a great race today. So we started the race in the new part of Vienna, which you can see down there, uh, full of skyscrapers. It's the UN center uh, in Austria. And now we are on the Imperial Bridge, 850 meters long. Uh, and you can see the beautiful Danube over here. The Danube is one of the most important rivers in Europe. It starts from Germany and it goes all back to Romania, my home country. I invite you to visit the Danube Delta where, where the Danube goes into the Black Sea. Wonderful sights on the Imperial Bridge. Uh, thousands of runners here today in Vienna. The race started back there. We're heading to the old city and the rich cultural experience that Vienna has to show us today. This is probably the best image in a marathon. Thousands of runners over there coming from the bridge, running the Vienna City Marathon. Woo! Short detour from the uh, track race. But if you are afraid of heights, or do you know somebody who's afraid of heights, take him here to the Proud Prater, uh, to the big wheel, which is 65 meters high. I'm scared only when I see it. I'm really, really scared. <laughs> We entered this alley like two or three kilometers ago, but uh, uh, I was amazed with the beauty of this place. Uh, we're in Prata Park in uh, Vienna, Austria. Uh, a short story about this place. Some 900 years ago, the um, Austrian royal family uh, gave this park to a family called Prato, and hence the name. And uh, from then, I mean, in the recent years, it became a park, uh, which includes sports facilities, a lot of recreational spots, and uh, a stadium, which you'll see a little bit later. But I'm amazed with this alley. It's absolutely amazing. It's very peaceful and very long. I think it's the third kilometer already on this alley, and it looks really great. back on running. <laughs> Yet another short detour from the track. I'm gonna show you the Donau Canal. Uh, so we're running in Vienna next to the Donau Canal. I couldn't show it to you from the track, but I went on the bridge right now to show it to you from here. This is a former arm of Danube and there's nobody here, so I can present it to you very nice. Uh, it is 17 kilometers long. Uh, it crosses central Vienna and uh, it's almost as long as a half marathon. It has 15 bridges all over and it's very nice for a stroll because you have some uh, wonderful alleys over here where you can run and have fun in Vienna. The Unica guys here are the main supporters of the Bucharest 10K and family race, which I invite you to attend in Bucharest, Romania. Music is so important on the track! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Having a great time in Vienna! I'm gonna show you the Vienna Opera, one of the most important in Europe and in the world. What can you tell me about yeah, the opera in Vienna? Yeah, you're gonna make it. The butcher is waiting for you. Like a male of 35, come on! I asked him about the opera. He kicked my butt and told me, go faster! This is the opera in Vienna, one of the most important in the world. They are doing the biggest effort today. Oh, it's 
Come on, little bit. <laughs> this is a good life for the marathon. <laughs> Enjoy the silence. It's all so quiet. Shh. Ich habe große Hunger. Hey ho! Hey ho! Hey ho! <laughs> Thank you for the support. Yay! <laughs> this is not on the track, but we we <laughs> intentionally missed it to go to the Schönbrunn Palace. Some other info about the Schönbrunn Palace under the Maria Theresa. This became one of the most important uh, cultural sites in the world. Now it is a UNESCO heritage site and Hmm, what else? What was else in the script? Come on guys, tell me what was in the script. Come on here. This is my team helping me do this episode. Come on guys. It was the vacation residence for Sisi. It was the vacation residence for Sisi. I would like... The wife of Franz Josef. The wife of Franz Josef. Oh my God, this is very valuable information we, we really wanted to share with you. <laughs> also, for almost 300 years, this is open to public and it's one of the most visited places in Vienna, as you can see. Again, the wife. Come on, let's go back on the track. So that was a short detour going back in the marathon track. Uh, sorry, sorry, we got it all wrong a little bit. Hello, hello! Uh, woo! <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy running! Running! <laughs> Austrian pronunciation guide. Technisch. Techn. Techn. Technisch. Technisch. How is it? Oh my god, come on, tell it to me. Technisches Museum. Technisches Museum. I, but it's not written over there. It's technisch. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's quite a little bit quiet on the track. That's why Kosti and me are going to sing. I'm forever blowing bubbles. Pretty bubbles in the air. They fly so high. They reach the sky. Pretty bubbles in the air. <laughs> Just look around you in Vienna and you will find the pleasure of running. So we found one of the biggest supporters on the track, the Haribo Bear. Hello Haribo Bear. Hello. Uh oh, you cannot hear him because he's very, it's underneath of this wonderful mask. <laughs> he gave us sweets on the track. And here is the store where Mr. Haribo went out from. Hello. Hello. What are you selling here? Tons of sweets, right? Sweets and candies and chocolate. Oh my god, this is a marathon dream! So this one behind me is Maria Hilfestrasse, one of the biggest shopping areas in the city. After 42 kilometers, if you still have the energy to go out shopping, this is the place where you should do it. So this is um, Vienna Television? Yes. Congratulations for a wonderful race. Yeah, I didn't race. I, I thought it no, was... No, I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, telling all the Austrians, congratulations uh, okay. yeah. for a great race. I'm doing a show called Discover the World of Marathons. Okay. I probably are not going to show me on TV, but if you if you show me, uh, I'm doing this show to show the people how great the marathon here is and invite all the foreign uh, runners to join Austria for this great event. I'm from Romania. Very windy right now, hope you're gonna hear me. We are in the museum quarters, so if you're passionate about museums, this is the place in Vienna that you should visit. You will find tons of museums including the Museum of Contemporary Art where you find works from Pablo Picasso to Yoko Ono, let's say. Thank you! I have been talking so much about the Donau Canal, that's why I just joined the running alley next to the water and it looks amazing. I think it's 
wonderful way to run in Vienna when you don't have the marathon. I would love to come here every day and run next to this river. Amazing place in Vienna. You can't really decide which is the best part to run in Vienna. Is it the Donau Channel or is it the Prater Park? Both are absolutely amazing. The Vienna City Marathon reaches the most beautiful stadium in Austria, Ernst Heppert Stadion, named after the manager that won two UEFA Champions League titles with two different teams. Uh, this stadium is a true beauty. I've seen it in 2008 at the UEFA Euro 2008 competition where I was to see Austria, Croatia. What a wonderful match and what a wonderful competition. Also, on this stadium, Thousands of people witnessed Spain becoming European champions against Germany also in 2008. Eishapel Stadium, a beauty, uh, a wonderful architectural uh, stadium which you should visit for a match, not for a stadium tour. Don't do it, just attend the match to feel the vibe and the passion of the Austrian fans. Marathons are beautiful but also very painful. Ugh. Oh my god, she offered me some beer on the set. The Austrian people are so nice. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for the beer. Thank you. Okay, I never thought somebody on the track would offer me a sip of beer. But no, I'm very happy. So I met those girls, they are from the Via Run uh, Club in Vienna, Austria. We have to talk louder because it's very windy. Hello Yay. girls! Hi! Why are you the coolest uh, running club in Vienna? We have the coolest people, awesome marathoners. Wow! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> I got scared. I, I, I really got scared. <laughs> oh, wonderful atmosphere in Vienna. If you ever run here, go check out this club here run. Then you meet wonderful people to run with. So I ran a little bit away from the track again to show you this amazing place that I saw from the original track of the marathon. Uh, I asked somebody from Austria, like a few meters away. This is a monument dedicated to the Russians that saved the Austrians from the Nazis. That's why they say I didn't uh, document this subject at all. I hope they were right. But in the end, it looks amazing. This is a place that you should clearly vis visit in Vienna. I'm going back to the marathon circuit. Two more kilometers until the finish line. Last but not least, the House of Parliament in Vienna in the last kilometer of the race. This is the epic finish of the 33rd edition of the Vienna City Marathon. 42 kilometers in the heart of Austria. This is the finish of the marathon. Runners, this was the fourth episode of Discover the World Through Its Marathons, um, Vienna City Marathon, 10th of April 2016. Uh, please watch the other episodes that I did in Berlin, Bucharest and Athens. I hope these videos inspire you to keep on running, to discover the world through its marathons, uh, get to know new people and discover wonderful cities. Vienna, it's been a huge pleasure. I'm enchanted with this experience. I love running in Prater. Uh, come here, uh, run with the Via Run. <laughs> uh, enjoy the wonderful atmosphere. Vienna is a great marathon. It's not only a running race, it's a race through cultural heritage. You will get to discover wonderful places that you could never imagine seeing anywhere else in the world. Fourth episode, thank you for watching. I'm Radu, see you next time. I would like to thank the organizers of Vienna City Marathon, also Unica, 
from Romania for supporting and believing in this project and Tarom Romanian Air Services. If you ever travel to Bucharest Marathon, choose Tarom, maybe it will make uh, your a trip more pleasant and don't forget to watch Discover the World through its marathons. <laughs> Happiness after the marathon! Cheers! Prost! <laughs> ah! The nav... the net <laughs> the dan 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 I'm just... I'm just gonna turn around. Don't mind the, the, what's happening. <laughs>